evening. Uh, it is nine o'clock and uh, pretty dark outside. So we'll be able to do a demonstration about the interesting phenomenon that we can see why we are using the Lakovsky multiple wave oscillator. So let's start. This is a normal fluorescent compact bulb. It is a, a perfectly uh, ordinary bulb. Uh, we should see uh, if the multiple wave oscillator uh, can have some effect on the said bulb. So uh, let's see what we can find out. Okay, we are going to approach the bulb from the working multiple wave oscillator. As you can see, uh, right now we are at about uh, three feet from the antenna and the bulb is already uh, lighting up. And uh, the way it lights up, it uh, really looks like there is an energy bubble all around the antenna at about uh, three feet uh, around the uh, antenna. We see the bulb is lighting up. See, as we're moving the bulb around, we can see the sphere of influence the antenna have on the bulb. And uh, this is uh, particularly true when we get directly between the antenna. It has a maximum of intensity uh, in the light emitted by the bulb. And even if I don't touch the bulb anymore, it's still working. So that's not because I'm holding it that it is working. This is a very interesting phenomenon. Here we have a regular incandescent 40 watt light bulb. There's nothing special about that bulb. But uh, when we're gonna approach it uh, near the antenna, uh, we will see some interesting phenomena. So let's do it. Okay, uh, now we are approaching the incandescent, incandescent light between the two antennas. As you, as, as you can see, there are electric sparks inside the bulb initiated by uh, around the, the uh, filament of the bulb and uh, moving along the side of the, the glass a very interesting phenomenon and uh, even if I turn the lamp around as you can see now the spark originally seems to be uh, directing toward my finger and even if I bring the bulb closer the arc are getting stronger this is a very interesting phenomenon ah. Okay, here we are, much closer, much closer. As you can see, there's a, a lot of sparks originate in, within the bulb. And if I get closer to the to the antenna, we see some sparks initiated from going from the bulb to the antenna. And as we go toward the outside wing the intensity of the spark are getting much stronger here and uh, what is interesting is here is that uh, each of the ring of the antenna are uh, electrically isolated from the next one only the outside ring is connected to the tesla type coil all the other rings are energized via uh, a phenomenon, phenomenon of induction. And if I move it around again, you can see the spark originates from my, seems to be originated from my, fig, my finger or emanating from the bulb filament toward my finger. It's a very interesting phenomenon.
Okay, here we have uh, an electrode uh, design also by the Dr. Lekowski. Uh, we'll talk in another, in another video about the use of such an electrode, but right now I'm going to use it to initiate a spark between the, the, uh, the antenna and to see the kind of spark that we get. Uh, we are now approaching uh, the electrode from uh, to the antenna. As uh, you can see, uh, there's uh, numerous uh, sparks emitted uh, by the antenna uh, toward the electrode. Uh, we don't see very well on that uh, picture. We'll see better on the next picture. But uh, the spark we see uh, are not uh, uniform. There's a zone inside the spark which is uh, lighter than the, the extremity of the spark. In uh, this scene, uh, we can see uh, much better the lighter zone inside the spark. As you can see, uh, the, there is a zone most often in the middle of the spark where the, the, the intensity seems to be uh, stronger. Some people think that could be uh, the visible manifestation of a standing wave. Uh, I don't know the answer, but uh, this is uh, 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 an effect that uh, deserves to be uh, studied further. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. I have uh, other videos that will coming, be coming soon. I hope uh, that kind of spark your interest in the Lakowski Multiple Wave Oscillator, which is an invention that been uh, in invented almost years ago and uh, was somehow forgotten. I think it's about time people rediscover that invention because there is a lot of potential with that, machine, that device. Okay, this is uh, Anterec 123 signing, signing up for today. Bye.